So welcome back everybody to another episode of Build and Drive. Today we're going to be looking at fuel efficiency, but instead of going for miles per gallon on the highway, we're gonna see how much fuel we use actually on the racetrack in one lap. As part of our build and drive channel, we have this thirsty six cylinder N52 B25 that was fully rebuilt in my garage. Uh, link to the playlist of that down below. But we also did an oil analysis on the engine after about 6,000 kilometers. Everything's good, everything turned out. So this engine seems to be working well. In the oil analysis, there was no fuel in the oil, so we know that these injectors are all good to go. Um, and so we should be getting the correct MPG from the factory, give or take a little bit. This car normally gets 20 to 30 miles per gallon. Uh, on the highway, which equates to about eight to 10 liters per 100 kilometers. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna go fill up the car with fuel. We're gonna go for a lap, and then we're gonna go fill up again and see actually what happens. set our uh, fuel gauge here well not fuel gauge our fuel mileage um, it was at about 9.1 on the Autobahn on the way here so we've just reset that yeah so guys what do you think the mileage will be on a racetrack um, you know foot to the floor most of the time we got the fuel gauge reset I'm gonna set up the GoPro and then let's go onto the track All right, everybody, we went and had a good lap, um, lots of fun um, getting used to some of the sections. I'll link that lap uh, down below. So we went and filled up and I realized maybe this wasn't um, this isn't going to be the most efficient way because I was able to fill up a bit more than what I thought. Um, you know, because when it clicks, I thought it can't be just one and a half liter. So I put more in it anyway. It was not the most efficient way to do this, but I'm gonna take this value, plug it into my uh, my fill up app. And uh, on the dash, it says here that we did 16.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Now, when I just got off the track, it was 17.4 liters per 100 kilometers. So I think that's more, um, uh, more of a realistic amount. Um, this is pretty accurate within about 0.3 of a liter per kilometer compared to my app. So here, let's go ahead and punch this in. Yeah, so this thing got all messed up. I should not have um, added more when it clicked because I believe it clicked at like one point something liters um, and I added more because I thought it was it was incorrect. But um, I'm gonna take that value here of 16.5 or 17.4 liters per 100 kilometers as the amount on the racetrack. Now, now why are we even talking about this? Well, because a lot of people don't factor in the price of fuel uh, when they come to the racetrack and they do a bunch of laps and sometimes they can run out of fuel mid lap and have to get picked up by the Adeatse, um and towed off the track. There was a hurricane that this happened to recently and uh, you know a lot of people do come and not factor in the cost of fuel. Um, so how many car how many laps can your car do before you have to fill up? I feel like I think mine can do I would have to do the math to figure out how many uh, laps my car can do, but um, I know some of these bigger, bigger engine cars, you know, the Porsches, 
um, the Lamborghinis, the big V8 M3s, um, you're going to do 8 to 10 laps, even less than that on some engines, and you're going to have to fill up again. So keep an eye on your uh, fuel gauge. Make sure you're fueled up when you go on the track. And hope you guys enjoy yourself, drive safe, and be careful out there. Stay to the right if you're new. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just an interesting research science experiment for myself. You could say that your fuel economy is about double what it is normally on the highway <laughs> or just driving around. Well, normally driving around town, I, I'm getting around 12 to 13 liters per hundred kilometers. Uh, on the highway, I'm getting anywhere from eight to nine to 10, depending on how fast I'm driving. To go to the racetrack and hit 17.4, you know, that's not that much more. So, um, interesting bit of science. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my other videos below and uh, hope to see you in the next one.